Mary asked, how often do you reuse that? And I don't know if she means the stencil, the stencil or the brushes or... Uh, maybe, sure. the, maybe the stencil. I use them over and over and over again. I haven't gotten rid of any stencils that I've mm. ever used. No. <laughs> and even with the paint on them, it actually kind of... Sometimes it helps to strengthen them, mm. I want to say. That's my, that's my excuse. Yep. Uh, but imagine what you can do, guys, with stencils and plain brown paper bag gift bags. Imagine, let's imagine with me. Mm. Throw me your ideas. I'm gonna open up some stencils here. Uh, buffalo check, yes, mm. guys. What a great buffalo idea. Yeah. Look at the deer head, let's see if it fits, but you can get all sorts of sizes in these gift bags. So imagine that on the front of a gift bag. Uh, what about even a letter of someone's name? So say for example, Sharon, no, Marty. Keep going. M. Yeah, let's do M for Marty. It's my husband. He's here at home somewhere today. And he's watching. Maybe he could come and stencil with us. I know. <laughs> Melissa's husband, Bucky, has been stenciling. Uh, she's taught him how to stencil. I think maybe Marty and Bucky should do a stencil off. What do yeah. You think, guys? Hey, should get Marty out here to do some stenciling sometime, and he and Bucky can do a stencil off. <laughs> hey, Melissa, if you're watching, yep. there's a plan. All right, so we can do a letter M. I'm going to show you how to. I've done this before. Buffalo check using uh, a letter and doing a um, buffalo check stencil underneath it. I'll show you what I mean, and that might make a bit more sense. Let's do this green bakery. So we'll just pop my white in here. Yeah. The other half of the brush. Okay. Yeah, it's a really big bag. Yes, we can just throw that in there just to stop it getting dried out. Okay. Good. <clears throat> I'm going to use another brush. And I'm using that colour bakery. Now I don't have this one on the supply list, but same place. You can actually check Fusion Mineral Paints website for your nearest supplier. And flip over my paper here. Some more paper. So offloading the brush, adding the stencil here. And again, you can tape, tape it down. Let's just tape it down so that it's secure. And again, let us know if you have any questions and mm. we're going to answer those for you. All right, so I've got my paint. I've offloaded it here. And I just still want to hold down, because gift bags are a little bit bumpy, they've got, it's actually rising up the stencil right here. There's a gap underneath. So when you see that happening, you need to still put your hand down here and you can do a little bouncy motion or a little bit of swirling, whatever you like. But the key to not getting, or tips for not getting bleeding underneath are, first of all, offloading your brush to have less on your brush. So when you think you've offloaded it all, offload some more. Mm -hmm. And just red. somebody else is like, how do you clean the brushes and what type yes. of paint are you using? And can you use the Scrabble letters to make words? Yes, you can use the oh, Scrabble letters the to make words. Mm -hmm. If you have the Scrabble letters, I'm using the autumn, what do you call that? Front porch sign, like the big, mm. just using any of their letters to make words. It's a great idea. So the paint I'm using is Fusion Mineral Paint. It's actually made for furniture. Mm. It's but it does really well on fabrics and all kinds of surfaces. Mm -hmm. um, as the name suggests, it fuses really well. The brush that I'm using is actually a furniture painting brush. It's uh, Klingon and they're actually quite self-cleaning. They, they, if you put that in water, so I've got mm. a brush tub here and you just put the water up to where the ferrule, that metal part is okay. going to be. Yep. You're right? Having, yep, go. Um, so where the metal part is, you just want the water to come underneath there to where the bristles are. And if I just pop that in the water and leave it sit there for an hour, all the paint just comes and drops off the brush and sits down at the bottom and cleans the brush itself. So it's they're really good. And I don't know how it does that, but I think that it could be to do with the uh, bristles are all individually tapered bristles. Mm. So it's just a fabulous brush to use. I love that it's soft. Mm. and it's not really harsh and spiky like some of the um, stencil brushes that I've used so I just prefer to use it and it's really good for giving good coverage as well so with your furniture painting and that kind of thing what was the other question I can't remember I think 
you've got it on it. Yeah, but Bill it. did mention that Bucky's had lots of practice. Oh, Bucky's had lots of practice. Marty throwing in out trouble. the uh, challenge there. He's throwing out the challenge. Uh -huh. um, all right, so, and for Marty, I'm going to take that off. We've got our green background. So what we want to do now is create a buffalo check pattern on top of that. So to do that, I'm going to put my stencil back on exactly where it was. So we've got nice crisp lines there, if you can see that. Mm -hmm. And that's because we use less on the brush and I did a little bit of a swirly motion, being careful not to go under. All right, I'm gonna put exactly where it was in place. And you can use this for all your other stencils, anything. I've done it with the buffalo check. I don't know if you saw the cushion that I painted with a deer head and the buffalo mm. check on the deer head. So. I've got my M or whatever other stencil you want to use. If you want to use the deer head, same principle. Put your stencil down and then put your buffalo check over the top of it. And you can center the buffalo check pattern. I want to make sure I get a good lot of the stripey bits. I want to make it look like it's a buffalo check pattern. So this M has a wide bit here. I want to maybe make sure that I get some good checks on that. But have a play with it. Guys, honestly, the best thing you can do is just practice, practice, practice. Oh, should I go red and green or green and white? So that green, you probably should wait till it's really dried well. And now I'm going to put some more tape on here to take my mm. uh, check buffalo down. check in place. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to grab my white brush. I think I'll do green and white because I think that'll stand out nicely. The white I'm using is Fusion's Casement. So they have a couple of really bright whites. Casement or Picket Fence. Those are their brightest whites. And then they've got a range of just sort of off-whites. Some nice beautiful neutral mm -hmm. whitish tones. Grayish white, brownish white, creamy white. Mm -hmm. Didn't know there were so many whites until I started painting furniture. Wow. Okay, so we've got our buffalo check on there. Now we want to do just in the letters where the N so you can see the M underneath. Just a little. Mm -hmm. Oops. So there's nothing over here, so I don't need to paint the buffalo check there. But I can see the M goes just down here. So I want to get that bit as well. Just doing little wiggly swirls, making sure I'm getting all of the areas now and see the center part of the M goes up here so no need to paint in here because that's the stencil the uh, solid part of the stencil the M stencil so it will just be painting the plastic we just want to be painting where the M comes through and shows through onto the brown paper offloading a bit and again just Speckles probably needed to offload a bit more. Hopefully, I don't get bleed through, but hey. Alright. How are you guys going with your Christmas shopping? Mm -hmm. Doing a lot of online shopping these days. Um, I kind of think about it every year, and then by the time I think about doing online shopping, I worry is it going to arrive on time? But, you know. I think that companies are getting better and better at, or the shipping companies anyway, getting better and better at shipping super fast and getting things mm. out there on time. Yeah. They yeah. are. All right. Any questions? Don't forget to use the iRestore stuff coupon code for 10% off your essential stencil orders and stencil of the month club you will get your first month five dollars off if you use the code I restore stuff okay going across the stripes here this is the last little bit of the M letter you can think of all the fun things that you could do with this method guys and think of all the stencils that you can add to it just going to double check make sure I've got every little bit and we'll take that up okay so I'm pulling both of the stencils up at the one time so you can see that now there we go so we have the letter M you could add some Christmassy things to that so what about some candy canes that we saw over here on the candy cane sign 
Let's grab my tape again. Probably I could have left a little bit more room down there, but let's just pop them up here. Can you fix bleed through on paper? Oh, it's a little bit tricky. That's why I say it's always, it's always easier to add more paint than take it off once it's there. Kind of like a haircut. You can always cut more off, but once you've cut the hair, <laughs> all right, no going back. It's gone. So the bleeding on furniture is a lot easier to just kind of get in there and sand it off. But when, once it's on the paper, it's kind of soaked in there. So it is a bit tricky to get that off. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do red candy canes in that gorgeous cranberry bed again. Popping my brushes in the plastic bag to stop them drying out. And once again, we are offloading mm -hmm. as much as we can mm -hmm. onto the paper. Now, some people have yes. done their shopping, wrapped, house is decorated, no ready to go, and other people oh. haven't even started a thing. <clears throat> I think I'm halfway between those people mm. that have started. And you've decorated. And I've decorated mostly. It's funny, once we had our decorating day, we actually decorated at the end of October, and put the tree up and found a few decorations, and then there was this box of decorations that you kind of think, what will we do with those? Will we put these up or won't we? Do we need these up? <laughs> you know, one of those. So we've still got the maybe decorations. The maybe decorations, which perhaps will just stay in their box hmm. and not come out this Christmas. Or stick them no. on the bush out the front yard or yes, something. Good. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying the lives and especially um, those of you in the Stencil of the Month Club. I hope you're enjoying those stencils because there are some fantastic ones. Grace has designed the December stencil. So if you get in, I'm pretty sure that's still, yeah, the December stencil still available. If you join now, you'll get that. And it's all snowman, it's all snowman. You would have seen her do a live on that here mm -hmm. in the, in the, on the page. Um, gorgeous little snowman with all the bits that you can add to it, the arms and the carrot nose and all of the things. And a gorgeous background as a bonus. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's the bonus one. Sounds good. Yeah, so if you do join the Stencil of the Month Club, don't forget there's that add-on feature. So if for only $10 a month for the add-on, I would add it because $10 for a stencil that's like this big, it's this size, that's Amazing. great value. So that add the add-ons are a really good feature. A lot of people have joined the Stencil of the Month Club, then looked at the add-ons and saw what everyone's doing and gone, Oh my goodness, I should have added the add-on. Mm -hmm. And they were so accommodating and they will let you, if you've done, if that's you, email Essential Stencil at, um, at their email address that you would have gotten in your subscription emails and they will happily add that on for you. Mm -hmm. Isn't that just the cutest? So I could go in and, I don't know, put a little bit of white on the bow or, or something like gold. that. gold. Yes, that's a fun idea. Thread some ribbon through. <clears throat> yeah. The other mm -hmm. thing I was gonna show you, and I was gonna use the brown paper, but I think that's too short is just doing some decorating or creating your own wrapping paper for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So you could do the gift bag idea, we could do the wrapping paper idea. And just creating some buffalo check wrapping paper. Let's do the white just because that's cute. Oh no, here I am thinking white. But white on white guys, that's not gonna work. White on brown paper might have worked well. But this is just a roll. I actually got this from Ikea. That's not on your supply list, but they sell the rolls of this kind of paper. Just and buy the paper. Yeah, you could just buy the paper. Are you saying just buy the wrapping paper, Celia? Or just buy... No, no, no. The... Just the but white course, paper. We are all for DIY. We want to do this. Yeah, all right, it's let's more do, fun. Let's do green then. Green buffalo check. I don't know. Does anyone have any preference? Green, red. What are we going for? Blue, pink. We could do a different colour if you would like. Nah, you've got brushes. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. All right. The other idea is, you know, with these little gift tag sets that you can actually just create these on paper, cut them out and you've got a little gift tag or you create them on cardboard. So in fact, you know what I wanted, I want to use essential stencils provided these just to kind of separate the stencils with them. But guys, let's just use one. Let's just try this on mm -hmm. a tree farm. It looks so what good. do I want to do? Yeah, let's do Merry Christmas on one of the cardboards and then I'm going to cut this and then I've got a little gift tag. How cute is that? 
But I digress. Let's do that mm -hmm. in a minute. <laughs> We're doing all the things. Green. Does anyone Somebody say green? Green. Yes. We want green. Cynthia. Let's do green. Buffalo check. Let's see how that works. Yeah, d just try all the different colours, guys. If you've got acrylic paints at home, they don't have to be fusion paints. If you've got any mm. acrylic or water based paints, go for it. Now, this is going to be so much quicker than doing it on the Hessian because the Hessian. The burlap that I did the stockings with earlier, if you're still here from earlier, mm. you will see that. If not, just catch the replay and you'll be able to see my Christmas stockings that I sewed, you guys. Mm -hmm. It's feeling a little bit <laughs> like in the sewing mood. Okay. And Stephanie mm. Ann, I'll get Sharon to answer your question later because it sure. might be easier and longer than what's going on here. All right, sure, thank you. Do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, if there's any questions, I always pop on afterwards and have mm -hmm. a look through your comments. So let us know. Very and low volume, they say. Um, mm. That's just because I'm not talking loud enough, right? We'll yell. I'll talk, I'll use my project, voice projection. Mm -hmm. And so, really, if you don't want bleeding underneath the stencil, you really are going to have to. Just to use less, but also it will take a little bit longer. Take your time. I'm rushing it, so because I don't want you to sit there twiddling your thumbs. Just talk amongst yourselves. So while you're watching, grab your coffee sack or your burlap yes. bag that's by the be roll. Painting. Who else is painting while they're doing Cut it out and sew it, just like Sharon, who can do everything <laughs> and sing on oh. top. And yes, they love your song, by oh, the way. Oh, did you see my song this week? Yes, it went up on the social medias on Instagram, Facebook, all the things. <laughs> so if you're a furniture painter, you'll really relate to some of the words. I changed the lyrics mm -hmm. to the Christmas song, if you're wondering what on earth we're talking about. Yep. Made it appropriate for furniture painters and DIYers and antique lovers and collectibles, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I know that in the States they have so many more antiques and collectibles than we have here in Australia. We have very limited, well, I say very limited, in my city, it's a little bit limited on antiques and things. So, guys, this is taking a while, but you can kind of see it's therapeutic, right? You can do other things while you're crafting. Is anyone painting today? Yep. Nicole is. I need Nicole. What are you making? Yeah. I'd love to know what you're making. And if you've used some of the stencils that I've used today, what have you used them on? Mm. What have you put the buffalo check on, for example? Mm. I'd love to know. Oops. There we go. Okay. Um, Cynthia had a tip. The faster she works on the buffalo stencils, the less the bleed through. Yes, and Luada, how do you say that? Sorry, but um, could you do the buffalo check first, mm -hmm. then cut out and see the stocking, sew the stocking together? Ah, yes, you can. That would you be can easier. Do that. That's a good idea. That way, if you make a mistake, you can just go and cut out another one and not have to sew another whole stocking. I think I'm going to paint over paint that one that I wasn't happy with. Just keeping it real, I have ones that I'm not happy with. And mm. so I just redo it. That's the great thing about paint with, you know, when you're painting signs or furniture, if you make a mistake and you're really not happy, sand it back and start again. It's not too big a deal. So I'm kind of pouncing okay. a little bit, a little bit of swirling, and it's going to look a little bit rustic with some unfinished edges. And again, we'll have to, you have to make sure that you really concentrate when you're lining up this pattern to the other, um, mm. the other mm. one that you've just done. Days before Christmas stencil. Ooh. Yes, that's a fun one. What about putting it on the bottom of your jeans? A buffalo check? Yeah, better yeah. like just a strip on the hem instead of or down, yes. down the leg. I don't know. Right. That could be fun. Brittany made a black background with teal check and silver deer head on top. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. I think we need a photo, yeah. Brittany. That sounds, lovely. sounds really good. Um, in the Stencil of the Month Club, people have been posting photos of all their work, and it's really actually quite inspirational. 
to see what others are doing and learning from those and um, yeah, getting mm -hmm. sharing great ideas for gifts or yeah. projects that you can do for your own self. Hmm. Mary did a window hanging sign that has blessed in gold yeah. with the check in the corners. Oh, Interesting. Lovely. Ooh. Two squares to go. Do you ever use a roller? That's the question we Yeah, need. I should do that one day on mm. live. I even bought some makeup wipes because I know some people use makeup wipes to do mm. theirs. And I thought, oh, I should do that. I'll bring that out. You'll see it here. Sharon trying makeup wipes and stenciling for the first time. Mm. Um, yeah. We could get Marty to do that and see how good they actually are. We could. Mm. Okay, I've done that. And look, mm -hmm. you can see patchiness here. But I'm not going for, for perfection here, guys. There's the buffalo check. I just love the way it turns out. It's absolutely great. Now, another give idea is if you did get the, mm. if you got the Christmas pre-order exclusive, which is not available anymore, but if you did get the grain sack stripes, mm -hmm. you could use some of these to actually do some stripes, some plaid stripes along in certain areas of your buffalo check. Wow. So that's another use for your grain sack stripes if you ended up getting that bonus. All right, so we've got gorgeous buffalo check idea. I do want to go ahead and just show you this. So you can make wrapping paper, just sit there for hours in front of the television while you're watching Netflix, or whatever, and do your stenciling. Make some gorgeous wrapping paper. Can you see that tied up with a beautiful red bow? Um, mm. That'd be wonderful, especially for those little gifts. You could actually do one that big, but you just remember, repeat the pattern. I'll just go over that really quickly again. To repeat the pattern, it might just be easier to put this right here on another check and so then you can just continue that pattern along like that. So that would make it probably easier. You could go this way, but then you're gonna to have to move here so that the stripes are all lining up exactly. Because if you put it here, you're gonna get two blocks and two stripes next to each other. Does that make sense? 